Hello, this is Swedra Janu Haknabil, team leader, Crux Open Source Ventilator team. Today, I am going to show you the basic operation of our open source turbine based low cost and extremely power efficient ventilator. So first, I will, uh, here, you can, uh, here you can see the test lung, uh, the uh, flow sensor, here is a pressure sensor probe, Con pressure sensor probe connected here, this is the PIP valve, this is the connector port of flow sensor, this is the, the reset button if needed for test purpose. And here you can see our the, our main screen. And as you can see, this ventilator now not connected with any external power source, so it will run uh, completely from uh, the battery. So here is the app Cracks Open Ventilator. I, I will click now. So first, show pair device. I will click here. Then I have to connect the ventilator uh, Bluetooth being connected. So we have to wait while uh, it connecting. The, uh, meanwhile, the test lung is dragger test lung. This is very high quality and professional grade test lung. And here is the here, uh, patient, patient circuit that uh, is connected with the ventilator. And this is the one way, this is the one way valve. And this is the peep valve. Oh, by the way, I have to on the power supply. Otherwise it will not connect. Okay, so now I will click. Okay, now here you can see the uh, BPM, uh, inspiratory time, PEEP, tidal volume, and here is the mode. Here is the actually pressure control ventilation uh, or PSB, pressure support ventilation, PRBC, and other modes. But for now, P PCB and PRBC is working. This mode is uh, should call PCB, not PSB. We will edit this. So now if, if I start the, now it, it is in a PRBC mode, if I on the ventilator, uh, I, I should I should show uh, show the how I can change the BPM and TI value. For example, if I change here and we can uh, change the TI value, which is inspiratory time. Then if I click update, I will keep it in six. Okay, if I update and here is the tidal volume, I can change to two hundred and peep maybe lower. Okay, so now if I st start the ventilator, I have to click on. So initial data is being initialized and now ventilator will start ventilation. And oh, now here is you can see the uh, various alarm. Okay, so for now I will snooze all. From settings, here I can snooze everything. And here you can see the uh, debug data yes, that is being transferred from the internal Arduino meta. Here you can see the ventilator, the ventilator is ventilating very, <laughs> very well and very nice curve. Here is the flow, here is the tidal volume and here is the, here actually the pressure. And here is the PIP, here is the PIP, PIP, actual tidal volume, here is the given tidal volume and here is various various other things here you can see the alarm uh, has begun if we if we want to change the alarm then here we can change the alarm parameter very easy uh, user manual now I, I will show you the ventilator uh, now ventilator will ventilate while i will uh, and i will connect the main power supply rather than the internal battery. I will disconnect the battery connection and I will run this ventilator completely from this power supply and I will show you the uh, power. Actually I opened the whole ventilator so that you can see the internal uh, internal circuitry and uh, mechanical things and now we are running uh, as uh, previous uh, parameters but here you can see the power supply, uh, power consumption. So. Here you can see this is extremely uh, power efficient ventilator and by the way I completely removed the battery connection so that the entire power is being transferred from this power supply and here I have attached a power monitor so that we can see the power consumption here you can see this is extremely uh, power efficient.
and now uh, here you can see the uh, pressure release mechanism here and then the, uh, this is the Arduino Mega uh, beneath of this Arduino Mega uh, there is a, uh, a, a turbine and this is the circuitry and here is another power su supply if we want to apply 220 volt directly here we can apply and this power supply uh, will transfer the power but for now for testing purpose uh, we are transferring power from this portable power unit and here we are monitoring the uh, entire power so the, uh, and here you can see this is our own uh, peep valve this is working really really good and very uh, uh, cost efficient maybe <laughs> we can make this uh, peep bulb under one uh, dollar and here you can see the uh, one way bulb if i remove the ventilator the ventilator will detect the disconnection immediately here is actually the one way bulb so and ventilator actually detect the uh, disconnection and now if i connect again it will uh, detect uh, that uh, i have connected so there uh, are lots of alarm going on because I have disconnected the enter ventilator uh, circuitry, patient circuit. So this is our Crax open source ventilator and I think uh, it will be useful for uh, uh, researchers, patients, doctors and, and for, uh, for everyone. Thank you very much.